Hey Pillars, welcome back to another quick video. We're gonna be debunking whether or not Primoz Roglic used a motor. Was he motor doping during Amstel Gold Race 2021? I'm here to debunk it and tell you guys it's not true. So let's look at the footage right now. Now the reason why I want to make this video before Liege, Baston Liege is because I saw all these videos saying Primoz Roglic motor doping. Was he motor doping during Amstel Gold Race? And all the footage was like potato cam. So I have the 4K version of whether or not Primoz Roglic uh, motor doped and we're gonna jump into all that good stuff right now and one thing i want to know is that when it comes to pro bikes they're always well maintained by the mechanics and they have usually ceramic bearings so if you guys don't know what a ceramic bearing is i'll read you guys the definition so according to research a well-made ceramic bearing will roll faster saving you energy allowing faster cruising speeds compared to an equivalent steel bearing this is because of the properties of ceramic allow the creation of a rounder smoother bearing which basically just means for the bottom bracket where the crank spin because it's a higher quality uh, bearing system they'll actually spin a lot more freer and you gotta remember it's not like a bike that you see on your local group ride that hasn't been cleaned in ages these bikes are cleaned very thoroughly before every race so i was just laughing when i saw people saying that this was motor doping but we'll watch it i'll break it down and if you guys watch for the whole video i have an example of a ceramic bearing being tested and on top of that how the uci prevents motor doping because this used to be a problem so we're gonna watch it right now so this is the footage right now in 4k we'll watch it a couple times to see exactly what happened so right now this is unedited nothing's been chopped this is exactly what we saw live during the race and i'll play it back slowing it down so you can see that he does get a mechanical he spins the crank once lets it go spins one revolution and then it spins again for a second revolution and i'm pretty sure there's four revolutions if not mistaken maybe three and it hits the ground and stops immediately and we'll watch that back so he lets go one revolution two revolutions and then the third one is when he starts to put his bike down. He doesn't pull the brake or anything. It hops a little bit and the wheel stops immediately. It doesn't continue spinning and the cranks uh, arm stops spinning as well. So that's a good indication that there's not a motor. I want to add because motors used to be a problem back when it wasn't tested. They were tricky. There's some sketchy things. I don't want to call anyone out, but there are some videos if you type in motor doping and cycling. There are some sketchy situations, but this one not at all. His hands are nowhere near the hoods. So if the motor was continuously on, how would he stop it? And as soon as he put it on the ground, it would have hopped. When it hops, the motor would have kept going. So there's no way he pressed the button, nothing of that nature. He didn't press the brake. So as soon as he let the wheel drop, the bike stopped. So I think this is totally fine i'm here to clear primos rockledges one of the best uh, riders in the world in the pro peloton i cleared his name he's cleared for liege baston liege that's happening basically in two hours time so i'm making this video very quickly i'm sorry i didn't get this video up sooner now before anyone says i forgot to mention it primos does touch his bar end but that's for the di2 junction box most likely trying to trigger adjustment mode and actually just because his chain was dropped so if you guys aren't familiar with this is what it looks like i have it on screen right now he's not touching some secret hidden motor button he's most likely going into adjustment mode to try to make sure that that chain can go back on but unfortunately it's not catching and that's why he does the bike swap pretty simple but we're going to watch an example of a ceramic uh, bearing system being installed on a bike and seeing how well it free spins let's watch that how many revolutions barely any effort and now i know it doesn't have a chain but this is to show you that it's spinning so freely so the fact that primos is uh you know crank spun three times with a with a chain is a good indication that this is just a normal ceramic bearing and i'm sorry maybe everyone's confused because they don't clean their bikes they don't have ceramic bearings so when they spin their crank arms it spins for less than one revolution now i'm just joking i'm just telling you when you have a well done bike you won't have the problem of it not spinning freely now you can see right now this is how they test for motors because this used to be an issue but it's been fixed ever since the uci always has to use these ipads they do like an infrared scan on these bikes it doesn't take that long because an ipad is very mobile so watching it right back while i talk you know Primoz Roglic is in the clear. I just think with the editing and the potato cam, you know, it looked, it made Primoz Roglic look so bad. So I'm here to clear his name, which I think I did. I hope you guys enjoy the effort I put into this video. Got the 4K footage for everyone. So, you know, I hope you guys get the chance to watch Liege Baston Liege live. If you don't, I will have a full race recap. But I hope you guys did enjoy this quick video. Uh, everyone that's a peddler or, you know, subscribe to the channel. If you have not, I suggest you do. But I am going to Europe within two days. I'm relocating, living there full time. So making these videos have been quite a challenge because I have to bring my computer with me. So I have to break it down. So I'm trying to get as much content as I can get done before I leave. So I hope you guys appreciate it. I'm in grind mode, but when it comes to cycling, is it really a grind or is it a passion? That I'll leave you guys to answer that one. So like the video, subscribe if you have not. And until the next one, keep on pedaling.